According to World Book Encyclopedia for 1988, it says this, Large galaxies have more than a trillion stars, and small galaxies have fewer than a billion. Astronomers do not know how many galaxies there are. They have photographed millions of galaxies through telescopes and believe there are billions. The Bible teaches that every last galaxy and star that exists was created by God alone in six days. He didn't go gather pre-existing matter to build some planet. He spoke and creation came into existence. If you do not believe in a God like that, you do not believe in a God nor have a God that is omnipotent, all-powerful, omnipresent, all-present, or omniscient, all-knowing, by any stretch of the imagination. When you consider that astronomers have been able to photograph millions of galaxies, at least according to World Book Encyclopedia, but yet we have not made any type of contact with any intelligent life from outside of our own planet, it seems to me that there are only two possibilities. Number one, evolution happened, meaning nothing suddenly became something and lifeless matter suddenly came to life and mutated by random chance into everything that exists. Or number two, the Bible is correct and an awesome and amazing God in an amazing display of power spoke and caused everything that does exist to come into existence. Genesis chapter 1. We would call a person a fool who looked at a painting and said there was no painter. We would call a person a fool who looked at a computer and said there was no builder. The Bible calls a man a fool who can look at creation and the infinite complexity involved with it all and say that there is no God. Psalm 14 verse 1 The fool hath said in his heart there is no God. The most simple life form that exists is far more complicated than a computer and infinitely more complicated than a painting. No human has ever been able to make dead matter come to life. Book of Mormon, Mosiah, chapter 3, verse 5. For behold, the time cometh, and is not far distant, that with power the Lord Omnipotent, who reigneth, who was, and is, from all eternity to all eternity, shall come down from heaven among the children of men, and shall dwell in a tabernacle of clay, and shall go forth amongst men working mighty miracles such as healing the sick, raising the dead, causing the lame to walk, the blind to receive their sight, and the deaf to hear, and curing all manner of diseases. Second Nephi chapter 2 verse 14 And now, my sons, I speak unto you these things for your profit and learning, for there is a God, and he hath created all things, both the heavens and the earth and all things that in them are both things to act and things to be acted upon. Mosiah chapter 5 verse 15 Therefore I would that ye should be steadfast and immovable, always abounding in good works, that Christ the Lord God omnipotent may seal you his, that you may be brought to heaven, that ye may have everlasting salvation and eternal life through the wisdom and power and justice and mercy of him who created all things in heaven and in earth, who is God above all. Amen. Mosiah chapter 7 verse 27 And because he said unto them that Christ was the God, the Father of all things, and said that he should take upon him the image of man, and it should be the image after which man was created in the beginning, or in other words, he said that man was created after the image of God, and that God should come down among the children of men, and take upon him flesh and blood, and go forth upon the face of the earth. Second Nephi chapter 9 verses 20 and 21 O oh, how great the holiness of our God! For he knoweth all things, and there is not anything save he knows it. And he cometh into the world, that he may save all men, if they will hearken unto his voice. For behold, he suffereth the pains of all men. 
yea the pains of every living creature both men women and children who belong to the family of adam first nephi chapter twenty verses twelve and thirteen hearken unto me o jacob and israel my called for i am he i am the first and i am also the last mine hand hath also laid the foundation of the earth and my right hand hath spanned the heavens i call unto them and they stand up together alma chapter forty verse eight now whether there is more than one time appointed for men to rise it mattereth not for all do not die at once and this mattereth not all is as one day with god and time only is measured unto men moroni chapter eight verse eighteen for i know that god is not a partial god neither a changeable being but he is unchangeable from all eternity to all eternity mormon chapter five verse twenty three know ye not that ye are in the hands of god know ye not that he hath all power and at his great command the earth shall be rolled together as a scroll mormon chapter nine verse seventeen who shall say that it was not a miracle that by his word the heaven and the earth should be and by the power of his word man was created of the dust of the earth and by the power of his word have miracles been wrought the book of mormon definitely teaches a lot of things about god that no mormon could just literally accept as written while believing the current mormon teachings on god and convince me that these beliefs are not totally contradictory highlights and quoted verses added please copy and share this presentation with anyone that you would like to Thank you very much for your time.